We have been working in Louisiana with children who speak non-mainstream dialects of English for over 25 years. And we've come to know that um, when we say the phrase difference versus disorder, which is very common in our field, it actually isn't serving us well. Um, because it makes us think of children as fitting into one of those two boxes. And in our clinical work and our research, what we're finding is our charge as speech pathologists is to find that small percentage of children, maybe that 10%, the 5%, no more than 50% of children who have a language impairment in the context of their dialect or of their second language learning situation. So we have really turned that phrase around to be disorder within difference and uh, the motivation for the forum was we looked around the country for other teams that were working in kind of the same frame as we were. They were very interested in uh, finding measures that would accurately classify who's impaired uh, versus who's typical in the context of um, non-mainstream English or second language learning. So everyone's a speaker of a language that doesn't match general American English. How do you find those who also have a language impairment? Well, the five articles in the forum, three of them are focused on children who speak a non-mainstream dialect of English. Two, or one includes African American English, one is Southern White English, and one has both African American English and Southern White English speakers. And then two articles are on children whose first language is Spanish and they're learning English. So I really like that about the forum because it brings those two fields dialect varieties and second language learning um, varieties together. Uh, because one of the things we know is we're sharing um, similar concerns, we're asking similar questions, and we're using similar methodologies. So that should be pretty exciting for clinicians to see those works together.